we all have the power and that's the only treasure that we have but how are we using it most of us we misuse this treasure this power yes I need it's a must to have a master to have an enlightened being a master an honest one that he doesn't tell me follow me I'm the shepherd you are the sheep no I'm a lion and alone and you are a lion and alone we don't need to be a sheep we are not part of the herd I hear and listen not herdy or birdy but this power is misused misused because we are all victims of the so called teachers and society our family and priests and politicians and all what you see they all teach us theology hysteromology logy and all this ideology and robotology and all this logic truth doesn't have any mind no head chop it what to do be yourself don't do it be or not to be and it happened many times and still happening that we become so jealous why this one not me why the master loves him more why he is more enlightened it's his faith he saw his original face no masks anymore and this man he loved the master so much that he started you know just playing with pebbles and collecting these pebbles and everybody was jealous of him the master loves him and one of the disciples he became enlightened and the moment he became enlightened he started playing the game of mind talking he started talking to other people and he said to this man go and throw all the pebbles in the river and the master read the mind of this and this because they read the inner energy the inner power and he said to his beloved disciple don't throw the pebbles yes master this is not my voice i heard the voice telling me to throw the pebbles and he went to the other one he said look the enlightenment came for you but i will take it back i'll give it back to you two days before you die ah yes he said i don't deserve it he said i'll give it back to you but two days before you leave your body because i gave it to you and you don't deserve it i saw it and i want to teach you how can i teach you without showing you i started talking from soul to soul so when a christ is talking to me or any enlightened flame and light and torch not to be arrogant not to use it you know what all this Neron and Hitler and the famous people they did Nagasaki Hiroshima and kill the planet kill all this muslims they are terrorist don't kill but heal just put them in the heart we are all victims of ignorance so what to do and he said when you use power you must have deep respect and love for others and for the whole of existence do not interfere with someone else's life from your own intellectual ideas if you have power don't manipulate others use it creatively i met many people most of them i kicked them out of my home they use the power to manipulate people i am here maria miss stupid she didn't understand me yesterday a man came here and i said 
great my respect to the asshole. He's a great asshole mind energy. I'm changing the whole planet. But other people we met and they know they are dead and stupid. This is only mind, ego power. Christ never did this. Not any prophet, not any enlightened being. All the Khalifas, they had this power and this energy. But they so humble, they know that it's not, it's from existence to existence. I'm only a bamboo. It's not easy, you know, to be humble because, oh my God, it's so great touch. I am. He touched me. And they told me, shut up. He touched everyone. You too? Yes. So, we are all from God, with God, to God. This godliness is in each one of us. So when somebody gives you a sword or a knife, don't chop the head. Don't chop the hand. Don't chop this. A knife in the hand of a good surgeon, a loving doctor, it doesn't hurt. It heals 